Okay, here we go. Oh, I need to take my, um, uh, this too. Let's see how much XP we get. We got about a quarter uh, of the way right now, so we'll see how we do uh, by the end of the night. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane series where we play this game on Insane Difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, it's Horde 56, and this is also going to be our first time um, with the new Horde base. So uh, let's just go take a quick look at it over here before we head down there. <coughs> um, for those of you who might be watching for the first time, uh, so you know, know what it looks like up on top. So basically... This is what she looks like up on top. So there's a funnel here, and that funnel drops all the way down to bedrock into our pit down below where we're going to be. I will probably eventually upgrade this to steel up here too, but we still have some steel upgrading that we need to do down below first, and that's going to be more important. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to our tunnel entrance, and we'll head on down to the base. I've got um, a bunch of steel that we're going to do some last minute upgrading with, and then I have some points that we got to uh, deal with too. So this is what I have in my inventory. We're taking Atom Junkies and Eye Candy for the loot bags later on. I've got a total of 77 um, grenades, and then we have another 60 uh, pipe bombs if we happen to run out of grenades before the night is over. Uh, in addition, we have... Uh, 30 Molotovs, and then of course I've got my usual uh, 762 ammo for the M60, and I thought we went, might try out the Magnum tonight uh, too, even though I don't really have points uh, in pistols yet, except for just the first point. All right, so let's see, we've got uh, extra medical, so I think we're we're good to go to head on down. So let's do that. Oh, um, the first thing we want to do here too is we want to grab these dirt blocks. And we want to block this entrance so that the AI does not see this as a potential pathway to get down to us. I think we're probably far enough away to where even if we didn't do that would be fine, but let's not take any chances. Let's not take any chances. Did a whole bunch of uh, iron mining in this little section here off camera. Um, so mine out all this iron and then, you know, there's still a lot more to do later if we uh, feel like we need to do so. There's another iron patch right here too, but I wanted to do the one that was a little further away from the actual base. All right, so let's just double check and make sure things are ready to go. We've got, um, we got 245 steel in there. Let's just make that an even 250. We're gonna hang on to that steel for, for upgrades and repairs. And uh, this is the steel that I have in my inventory now is what we're going to use to do the actual upgrades themselves. Uh, we've got concrete, we've got rebars, we've got iron, we've got cobblestone, everything we need to, you know, make sure that uh, we can repair everything down here. Let's open this up, make sure it's completely fueled up. I'm not going to turn it on until we're ready to start, but you'll notice that um, I also added lights uh, to the base in each corner too. So those will light up when we get started. So let's see, before we start with our upgrades, let's take a look at our points here. So I've got four points to spin and we're gonna dump all those into perception. So we have one more uh, level of perception to get to, get to level seven, uh, which is gonna cost two of those points. We're gonna take them now. I could wear the perception glasses, but I would rather keep the XP glasses on uh, for Horde Knight. So we're just going to go ahead and burn two points to get that. Then we want Demolitions Expert up to four for sure. Um, that's going to help tonight. And then I think we're going to start focusing now on getting Salvage Operations up to level four. Uh, once we do that, then we'll probably do Lucky Looter and or, or Deadeye. Actually, we'll probably do Deadeye next. Um, but I want to get this to level four so A, I can make an impact driver, and B, uh, we get more, of course, from the salvage that we do. All right, good. So that takes care of that. Let's see. I want to uh, get my toolbar arranged uh, into the format we're going to use for Horde Knight. So basically we want the nail gun there, 
We're not really going to be able to use our melee weapon, but I'm going to keep it with us or in my inventory uh, nonetheless. And I guess we had Molotovs in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just continue to upgrade um, this intersection to steel, in inner section, not intersection, uh, to steel and just see, you know, we might have enough steel to get it all done. I don't know, but uh, if, we, if we do have enough steel to get it all done and then we have some left over, uh, you know, then I'll save that for getting the, the upper part done. The other thing I did too is I put um, an R on both of these walls for repair because it's going to be these fence posts that are going to, uh, you know, take the take the durability damage. And I didn't want to be in here and then trying to figure out, you know, which wall I need to go to to affect those repairs. Oh, you know what? That's the other thing too. Let's just do this now so I don't forget. We need to make sure we have... Mechanical parts, electrical parts, and iron in our inventory for all of those repairs. In addition to steel for the uh, for the turbines, the blade traps, because that's what those require. Okay, so we should have everything. Let's ha get a stack of this in here too. Um, we should have everything we need to to repair. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and just start upgrading, and then I will bring you back when the Horde Knight starts, and we'll see how our new Horde base does. Okay, guys, it is time. Let's go ahead and turn our Jenny on. And get ready for the fun here. So we're mo mostly just going to stand right in this general vicinity um, for the most part and just chuck grenades down there. Um, we can also, you know, come over to here and shoot. If we need to, uh, we'll just see how the AI behaves, basically. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Remember, I have not tested this out on Alpha 19, so I hope it works the same way it did on 18. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. <laughs> Come on, Zombos. All right, we got our first victim. fan freaking tastic It's a glower, too. See, so he's he's going to try, they're going to try and, and get up the embankment, but they're not going to be able to. And even if they do, they're going to get zapped. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need to take my, um, uh, this too. Let's see how much XP we get. We got about a quarter uh, of the way right now, so we'll see how we do uh, by the end of the night. Let's let them build up a little bit more before we throw more explosives down there. Yeah, look at them getting zapped. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got almost 7,000 XP on that one. 10,000 on that one. Beautiful. Okay, let's let them build up again. Blades hitting a couple of them. Okay, here we go. 5,000. Yeah, that wasn't wasn't really enough there to to do it. Maybe what we'll do is we'll give them a, a double shot after we get a, a big group of them. So we could just throw, you know, one down there and have it ready. We we can't wait too long, though, because it'll disappear after about 15, 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. I got 6,000 on that one. Okay. Come on, Horde Knight. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's throw an extra down there. We'll give him a double shot. Got 4,700 on that deal. All 
All right, well, while we're waiting for them to come down, let's go ahead and check our fence post. Just very minimal damage. But we do want to stay on top of it. Come on. There you go. Get over there. That one's not damaged at all. Okay. How about this one? Nope, that one looks good. That one's got a little bit. Got to get the crosshairs right over the top of them. The corner ones are seem to be fine. All right, how about the turbines? That turbine's good. That one has just a tiny bit of damage. They're not even really making it up to the blade traps, or, or barely making it up to the blade traps. Okay, let's let's do like a, a triple here. Here we go. Yeah, we still only got 47. Okay. Let them build up a little bit. Let's give them a double. Okay, we got 75, almost 8,000 XP off that one. Not too bad. Wait for a few more to drop. We got 48 seconds left on our Atom Junkies. <laughs> that, one, that one came down at first. Funny. All right, let's do a triple. There's still not... Yeah, we got 53.18. Ooh, wow, she almost blew all the way back up here. Man, this base is just kicking the shit out of these guys. It's a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. And see, they can't... The You know, these grenades have a radius of five blocks. And they can't get away from that radius with the setup. They, are, they do, like, seem to be going towards the door, which makes sense. I mean, that's what their AI typically will do. Let's put, throw the nades right in the corner there. Of course, some of them are coming after me, too. Or trying to come after me, I should say. All right, well, let's check repairs again. Uh, no, that one isn't a repairable one. They're, it's like they're not hitting the diagonals at all. Which is surprised me because the diagonals go right down the center of the hole, but I guess they're just not fall, falling down the center of the hole. Yep, the diagonals are fine. Okay. These guys shouldn't have any damage at all. Just one egger down there. What? <laughs> oh, hey! What the hell? How in the hell did that happen? With him. He must have glitched out on the spider. Interesting. Okay. I'll bet that the spider must have got glitched in the block, and then that one hit the spider and glitched through. That's kind of what it looked like it happened. Got a lot of bags down there already. Man, it, they're just not sending very many Zombos after us. I, I wonder if there's a bunch of them up above busting stuff up there. There's no way we can tell right now. Okay, well, let's check our blade traps. Just very minimal damage. That even might be grenade splash damage. Hmm. 
The Horde Knight can't possibly be over. Oh! Look at that, man! They're getting glitched right in the block. That is so weird. Okay. Well, easy kill for me. You are dead, right? Oh, no! <laughs> he fell down that way. Okay. Well, I might start using doing some shooting because um, it just doesn't warrant wasting grenades on onesie twosies. So let's do some shooting. Sounds like I hear footsteps up above, so I'm a little concerned that maybe they're they are trying to dig through from up above. Let's turn this off for a second, just so we can listen. That sounds like footsteps on concrete. I do hear digging and banging. Yeah, you know what? I'll bet they're, I'll bet they're digging down to us. Oh man, okay. We could be in trouble. We could be in trouble. Um, I think this is because, you know, this is a, uh, you know, it's al Alpha 19, so they must have changed their AI to dig down. I mean, I've been standing in this area the whole time. Sounds like they're getting pretty close, too. All right, well... This is not a good situation. So, what is our plan here? I think what I'm going to do is let's make some hatches. The buzzard's in the chute. Uh, do I have scrap iron down here? I don't have any scrap iron. Why the hell did I not bring scrap iron down here? Silly me. All right. Well, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until they um get down here, and then I'm gonna start to retreat back that way with and put some hatches down to slow them down and maybe try and kill a few of them. But I guess we're gonna have to make some scrap iron. It still sounds like. They're doing a lot of walking on concrete, though. Let's just scrap that much. There's some digging going on. And I hear walking on gravel, too, which makes me wonder if they busted through into the to the mine area. I bet you that's what happened. Okay, well, that's not good because that means they're going to break through down over here then. And <laughs> we're going to be trapped in here. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, let's... um. Let's go ahead and make, I don't know, like four of, well, I guess we can make th three. We're going to need some more scrap iron then to upgrade them. So let's do another ten here. Well, it started off good. If, But if they bust down through in our tunnel, I mean, we're screwed. We are like S-C-R-E-W-E-D, screwed. If they try and break down through here, you know, then we can still potentially retreat that way. All right, well, yeah, sounds like they're really close. Oh, they're already in. So I guess they must have they must have come through the busted through the roof in there. 
Oh man, we still need more frickin' scrap. Wait, why won't that upgrade? Yeah, we need more scrap. I should have had a stack of that down here with me, but... Honestly, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Okay, so here. Let's make some more scrap. We'll do three stacks. I don't want to do them all at once, though, because then it'll just take longer for us to get the scrap. We're kind of in a bad spot here because... Uh, did th those guys must have just glitched through. Because we'd have a flood of them coming through if they actually busted all the way through. Okay. See, I'm afraid, though, that they're trying to bust through above our head here. Let's get this ready. Yeah, see, they're not... Those two must have glitched through. So I'm going to stand over here to try and draw them this way. And then, you know, if we start to see signs of them breaking through the roof here, that's when we start making our retreat. It's about almost 1.30 in the morning, so we have to survive for uh, two and a half more hours here. I'm disappointed, man. All the work I, I put into this place, and it doesn't seem to... Uh, I mean, it started out working okay, but then when I saw the horde start to slow down, I got I got to thinking, okay, this, is, uh, this isn't working. I don't know if there's anything I can do ab about that. Well, I might be able to repurpose this base in a different way. In other words, provide a path for them to actually get down here. Um, so, you know, they don't break through the roof and then see if we can figure out another option here. There's no, no point in having the power on because there's just not enough going down through there to make any difference. I wonder if I made a, a larger funnel up above if that would encourage them to come down through the chute. We're just, you know, we're just going to have to take a look at it when we get up there and see, you know, what they did and what kind of damage they did. I think I also made a, a mistake by, you know, mining out that little cavern halfway down too because, you know, that just let gets them closer to us that much faster. Yeah, they're working on it. They're working their way back to me, babe. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, man. Okay. Well, hmm. I think what we might need to do... Well, here's what we could do. We could build a ramp for them to just walk down, but have the ramp spill out over the top of the pit here. That might actually work. Um, because, you know, then they have an easy, an easy path to get down to us. So yeah, they're, they're getting close and they're not, um, you know, so they're not trying to dig down straight down. And then once they get, you know, to us, we're going to have to, we're still going to have to make the AI think they can get all the way to us. So we might have to use, you know, another hatch type of plan. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to assess it when it's all done and, and see what our options are. But, okay, well, at least we know now that this design no longer is effective for Alpha 19. It was just beautiful for Alpha 18. It was an amazing base. And, I, you know, I've mentioned this a couple times now, but, you know, I, I would sometimes get four to five levels in a, in a single Horde Knight from this base in Alpha 18. And that's when I was already very high level. So it was really effective, but... It doesn't, doesn't work quite as well in Alpha 19, not with this specific setup. So I think, you know, the solution's either going to be build the pathway for them to come all the way down to us, 
Um, you know, either that or maybe try a larger funnel up above to encourage them to go down the hole. Plus, they're just, you know, beating the shit out of everything, too. But I'm not... I'm not going to fill all that in. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll patch it up on the very top, but... Now we know, though. Now we know. Okay, guys. Well, I'm probably just going to hang out here. I'm going to keep the camera rolling, but if nothing exciting happens between now and the morning, I'll probably just cut. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you here in a little bit. All right, guys. It's uh, 3.55, and uh, they are getting close. But they still haven't broken through yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the surface. Uh, because we won't get any, you know, new Zikaroos. Okay, let's go do that. And I'm going to put these up there. And see what happens. So I, I've been thinking, you know, while I was just sitting there, I'm thinking about a couple of options. I think the first thing I want to try is I want to just make a larger funnel up above because that might be all that we need to do to get this to work. Um, and if that if that doesn't work, you know, then then we'll work on you know making a pathway for them to come down to us. In fact, I might do both of those things. Uh, so that if the, you know, the larger funnel turns out to also not work. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what we'll do uh, for the next time. So we're not, we're not giving up on this yet. We're not giving up on this yet. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> what, what's up with that? Oh boy, this is going to hurt. Okay. All right, well, let's head on over here and see what what's going on. Okay. Well, that's what they did. Instead of going down the funnel, they decided to dig through this corner. So, yeah, I think I think what we do is we start the funnel uh, right on the perimeter of you know, these iron, uh, this iron plating, make that a bigger funnel. And then it might uh, be all that we need to do to, to make this work. Uh, you know what? We could still do this, huh? Here, let's jump down here. I want to be... I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> it would be so bad if we fell down there. I don't think we can clear that without burning ourselves. Okay, well, um, I suppose what we could do is very carefully try and elevate our way down here to kill the rest of them. I mean, I know if I just leave, they'll despawn, but those mofos robbed me of my Horde Knight XP, so I'm a little bit frosty about that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a spider. All 
Alright, let's just throw a nade down there. We got somebody. Okay, let's get this thing ready to go. They're all kind of over that way. I wonder if some of them are in the mine. So it's, it's almost like they came down this way. And then dug back up through here. I mean, where in the hell are they at? There must be another route that they took because I don't even see another opening from here. Huh, that's really weird. Okay, let's go back up and see if we can see if there's another pathway that they dug a side tunnel. Because if there is, I didn't notice it. It can be really hard sometimes to see in this stone. And you know, actually, it wouldn't be that difficult to patch this back up. They didn't make that big of a hole here. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything that would indicate another passage that they cut through. Unless it's, like, way up at the top. No, there's nothing here. All right, well, then, <clears throat> that being the case, let's go back down through the tunnel and see if any of them broke through that way. Is there another hole up here that they might have made? They made a divot there, but they didn't go all the way through. I think they must have despawned. Huh, okay, wow. Well, the good news is we didn't die. <laughs> we weren't killed. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I think the answer is make a wider funnel at the top. That's the first thing we should try, and that might be all that we need to do. But here's, here's what I'm thinking uh, if that doesn't work. Probably what we do then if that doesn't work uh, and again, I might just do this anyway, so we already have it in place, is have a pathway coming down, may, maybe right through this wall here. So just give them a nice clear pathway all the way down. But what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll, we'll kind of zigzag it up to the top so it still stays in this general area. Um, but it'll be a clear pathway. We'll probably even pave it. So there's no mistaking that this is the way to get down to old guy. Um, but then what we'll do is... Um, we might, we might like set up, say like trap doors. So we remove, you know, we remove this and we enclose this part so they can't, you know, go anywhere but forward. And we put trap doors down here and then put, you know, like some, some quarter bars across there, um, you know, for the, the lower level zombos. And then we just stand here and as long as the trap doors are in place, you know, they'll come, they'll come here. We could even put Junkie right here. 
okay? And so the idea is the pathway comes through this way, and then they come here, and then the, the sledge turret just pushes them down into the pit from there. Um, and, you know, we could remove this quarter block, and, we you know, we could also shoot them then, too, uh, in addition to the pit. So that's kind of what's in my head for what we could try for that. All right, well, guys, um, unfortunately, the base didn't work as well as I had hoped, but it's okay. This is a learning experience, you know, and I, I said multiple times that I, I wasn't sure if it was going to work like it did in Alpha 18, and, and it didn't. So, um, but I, I have, a, I have a, a pretty good feeling that if we just make the funnel at the top larger, that might be all that we need to do. So, I'm going to start working towards that end, and... Um, you know, give you guys updates as things uh, come along. Um, I don't know that I'll do a full casual construction episode on just that because it's really just going to be me digging out a big hole and then putting down, you know, the the sloped pieces to make the funnel. So it might be a thing that I'll probably just show you when it's done. Um, but I'll think about how that goes. But I guess that's it for this episode. So sorry it wasn't uh, a little more exciting uh, than it was, but it is what it is. We we live and learn, and we figure out a way to make this work because I still, you know, this is still such a good design. We just need to make sure, we just need to get the zombies into it. That's really what it boils down to. So, um, all right. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.